working on something, it's always really surreal to actually be doing it. To me, this film is not post-apocalyptic because unfortunately with climate change and the way that things are going right now, the apocalypse is kind of already happening, like we're sliding into it. And I always want to depict things in the most realistic way possible. I wanted to lean into the Americana of the ranch or farmhouse style living and this location just felt like perfect. It's so like quaint and picturesque. Up until this point, a lot of my work has been horror. You know, I've been thinking about climate change a lot and thinking about like what the world is gonna be like in the next five years, 20 years. And I really wanted to make a story about that. How will parents talk to their children about the world, the climate changed future? And I just imagine it being really hard to be as honest as you want to be with a young person about how bad things are. And there just gets a point where you can't like lie to them or shield them from it. We're showing these black characters who are going through some sort of struggle, but the struggle isn't tied to their identity. Like the identity itself is not the problem they're overcoming. It's tales all this time with black characters and native characters. There's like these archetypes that those are the roles they're being offered. So it's really exciting to meet actors who are like, oh my gosh, like I'm playing this scientist or like an engineer because that better reflects all of our complexities. A huge percentage of the land ownership and farm ownership were black farmers and over the past century their numbers have just declined drastically. The double tragedy of that is black farmers developed most of the organic agricultural practices that we use in this short film. Any way to kind of talk about that expertise is exciting to me and feels like of course, that like feels like the way to go. To me, the best science fiction stories start with a question and they end with a different question. Just like black horror is having a moment longer than a moment. It's here, it's been here for a while. My hope is that more science fiction and speculative fiction keep expanding what we think is possible narratively. I think what I'm most excited about is Mirasol feels like it's just the tip of the iceberg for a story or a world that is full of possibility. There's just so much despair and fear around what the future could look like. And I'd love for this film to show that possible reality, but also serve as a reminder that we always have the capacity to feel hope and carry on in those really tough circumstances. If this film helps one person feel like they have agency, whether it be their effect on the environment and how we have a role to play in taking care of the plant life and animal life around us, that's, that's good enough for me. about you. She wants you to be safe. Oh, well, that's all. I was just hoping to bring back more. Things are getting worse, Mom. I just wish the fields would come back. Marisol, you and your mom, you're more alike than you think. She needs hope can be a dangerous thing, Mom. More dangerous than being kept in the dark. She can see everything. You should show her. Show her what? You know what? Your little experiment. I uh, thought maybe you'd be mad. A sunflower? Come on, we're going somewhere. Maybe the fields will come back, and there'll be this many. <laughs>